Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It helps us more than you could imagine. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of The Fellas. Bro, that was like some CBBC thing. C C C T C B C B B C C B B C B B C B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C B B C my bros. <laughs> my bros. You're trying to get a little snack. <laughs> He's just there with a little dummy and I'm like. Yeah, right, of course. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, welcome back to uh, today's episode. I believe this might be episode 21. 20. No, 20, 20, 20. Um, some amazing news. First of all, we want to thank you guys all so much for getting us to 250,000 subscribers on YouTube. Amazing stuff from everyone um, here at the uh, the Fellas Corporation. That, Inc. Rem- that reminds me of them dons back in the day on Twitter when um, when YouTube was more starting off and people would be like, <laughs> "Thank you for seven thousand two hundred and fifty subs." <laughs> like any numbers, any, miles, any increments. So it's like every fifty, they were like, "Yeah, we just hit that." It, right now, the same thing is going on with those uh, with small Instagram influencers. You got like small Instagram influencers that are going like, "Thank you so much for uh, two thousand five hundred and sixty four followers." <laughs> Bro, have you seen the ones that are getting one k followers and then they're getting balloons? <laughs> <laughs> they're getting balloons, guys. I shit you not. They're getting balloons that say one thousand, like pink balloons. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit wild. That's tragic. That is. Got a question for you though. What off the bat? Straight off the bat. I, that's s- how well, we I do swear it. we're not even a minute into this. Nah, podcast. but it's okay because this one needs to be solved quickly. Okay. 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 You go to prison. Yeah. Okay. It's an American prison. Okay. So we know an American prison it's is a bit worse, right? Is it? I think it's a bit worse. I don't know. You know. Like you know. Anyways, so. yeah. Anyway, okay. We're we're, we're in pr- no. We're, you know, for the sake, we live in the UK, mate, and our viewers are from the UK. We're in a UK prison. Ah, it doesn't make it as fun, but okay. Okay. Um, you go to prison. Yeah. Every day you're in prison, though, yeah. you will get two thousand five hundred pounds. How many days? Yeah. Do you want to? Are you going to stay zero, in prison? Zero. 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 Bro, it's not. You do. I don't think people actually realize. Yeah. When you go to prison, yeah, it's actually a wrap for you. Mm-hmm. Like someone like me, a slim Donny. Same. Yeah. Tall, slim Donny, blue eyes. I'm getting packed in. Yeah, I'm getting right? And I'm talking yeah. from behind. Yeah. Okay, back, it's a wrap. My back is getting blown out. And I've not, I've not even done that before. So. And do you know how long that takes? That takes only one night of you being in there. A little introduction, a little welcome to prison. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so you're saying you're willing to do that for 2,500 pounds. No, I've not given consent. So that, that's not really how prison works, actually, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they don't do a mad thing to you and go... That's, uh, that, all right, but in UK prisons, I was researching it on Reddit yesterday. Apparently, it's not as... Like, that culture yeah. is not as big in Prominent. UK prisons. Yeah, it's not as serious. But in America, it's like, you know, the ones that have got life in prison, they just go out and they'll they back it care. out on any Donny. Really? Yeah. Like, obviously, the new kids, the ones that don't stand up for themselves, like the skinny whatever. Essentially, what we would be walking into. Yes. So, but me, yeah. on the other hand, yeah. I'll, talk about, I'll, talk myself, I'll talk my way out of it. You'll waffle your way I'll out of waffle. it. I'll waffle. Look, he, do, he grabs me <laughs> by the throat. He grips me. I see his vascular arms. No, 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 no. You need to stop. That's mad. That's mad. That's mad. That's mad. <laughs> it's like a fanfic. Uh, but uh, are you realistically, <laughs> are, you, are you doing this? For two thousand five hundred pounds, no. To prison. But I think, I think if we scale it up, mm-hmm. okay, let's scale it up money wise. You're getting twenty grand a day. Mm-hmm. Now what we talking? And it's not a guarantee 29. that you are. You could walk yeah, in yeah, and yeah. be the. You could be the. You could you, be. The you could Donny. survive. But the thing is, I, I get it. Like you could go in there and you could be pretty much. No one speaks to you for the first week. You don't and know. And you've if come they... out with one hundred and forty grand. Exactly. Grand. And you don't know if they've yeah. not watched QPR career mode. What if you've got the. Bi- oh, yeah. What if the henchiest Donny you walk in is like, that's Cal Freezy. I loved his QPR career mode. I loved his mode. videos, and he starts telling you about how he likes every video with no he's on. Yeah. Which all you guys better have on for the fellas, by the way. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's it, true, you, actually. Might, you might not get better. And it's just free money. Yes. But I don't, I'm not willing to take that risk. I'm perfectly fine with my financial situation and my lifestyle the way it is now. What I don't. about 100 grand a day? <laughs> okay, I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm doing, I'm doing a 25 year stretch. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nah. Get me in there for life. Bro, <laughs> get me in there for life, baby. I'm going to come out at 64, but I'm going to have 100 mil in the bank. Is, is that how much you would have? I, I, don't, I, mean, I didn't do the math, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, uh, no, but on a serious note, I think it would genuinely have to be like a million quid a night. Like, I'm not even joking because it, it just, the idea just absolutely terrifies me. I, you know what? I want to speak about this. Every now and then I come across a prison TikTok yeah. and then I'll- What, you on prison talk? And when I get on <laughs> it, I'm on it. My whole For You page turns into prison TikTok and it is wild. What like these guys have got, well, in some prisons they've got like walls are stacked up like more than my uni dorm was we got packet noodles and all kinds of oh, stuff like, and, well, they, like and, food and they and they have their own way of creating like mad meals it's so smart what they got like oh like, like, steak like, like this guy was cooking on like a tabletop by lighting like balls of fire and putting it underneath and it was cooking his it, and it was working really and it was insane i couldn't believe it i'd love to get somebody that has been to prison yeah. on the podcast it's true we should and there's got someone them. who's got really good prison stories that's true yeah we, we did we've actually got some really cool and interesting people lined up to come on this podcast pretty soon uh -huh. um, and we're talking about because we, we wanted to sort of go away from the YouTube stuff quite a bit yeah because we do too many YouTubers and if yeah. I'm honest they all stink but yeah <laughs> um, but shout out Saffron anyways for coming on the podcast uh, last week that was that was good that was the end that of our YouTube episode. Yeah, yeah, we, we are sort of, we're doing our best to to go elsewhere. Yeah, our next podcast as, as well is going to be good. As fun as it is, because we already know them and we love them, it's a case of they've all done a lot of podcasts already. Yeah. And everyone knows about a lot of stuff they have to say, kind of. Yeah. Whereas we get some new people on, bang, they give us different stories. Next yeah. thing you know, I'm learning how to cook super noodles <laughs> and fish in prison. Which is very valuable when you're getting yeah. paid 20 grand a night to be in prison. Yeah, we could go to prison at any time. Exactly. It's true. You know? By the way, guys, if you do hear a little noise in the background, um, it turns out they're creating the new set to uh, the brand new Disney show, uh, Chip and His Snowflakes. Can you hear that barking off? That is so loud. Do you want to stop for a second? And just as you said that, they've stopped. Very well done there, Chip. Thank you. Um, but seriously, guys, if they do come back, it should be all right. Hope, these mics are pretty good. Hopefully I will spark them it. out if you want me to. Uh, oh, which actually brings up to, uh, we've had a big scandal at the studio today. Um, so as you guys may know from previous podcasts, we're looking to expand the fellows podcast and we're actually getting a be, brand new studio. This could be the very final yes. um, podcast recorded in this specific studio. Uh, but a lot of people have commented about the set. The set yeah. will not be changing. Yeah. Um, everything is, that you see here will remain. Yeah. We're just moving to a uh, studio that is maybe four times the size. Yeah, we're literally, because you guys see it and it looks kind of big, but I promise you like it's our cameras small. are backed up against the wall here. Um, it's a small one, but um, it's done the job. And I've yes. said that about my member plenty yeah, of times yeah. and I'll say it about this studio. But uh, to get into the to the, our little scandal that we have. So we bought a table for our upcoming studio and we set it outside, right? Um, outside of the door because we're in like a building where there's lots of other studios mm -hmm. um, because uh, the key to get into our studio just wasn't working for whatever reason. So we just set it out there, but it's very, this is like a, you know, I'd say quite like a posh building. So, you know, it, it's a, it, it was a, a table worth 20 quid we bought it off someone else so we were like oh we'll just leave it out, out there it'd be, it'd be no no problem we've left the legs next to it and we've got the main table there anyways we, uh, we come back the next day after we put it there and guess what the legs are gone somebody somebody has, has nicked. nicked it mate i can't believe it why why would you nick just the legs to the table at least take the table with you yeah now we're just stuck here with a plank of wood how can you go home at night look your mother dead in the eye when you're a leg thief. You are. And now we're legless. Yeah. We're disabled. Leg thief. Well, if you're watching. Yeah, we we're on to you and we will find you. We've messaged the, the, the wonderful lady that works in the reception here is already scrubbing through the CCTV as we're recording this. Yeah. So let it be known, guys. We will keep you updated on leg gate. Yeah. We will. And we will find you. We will. Zo on the camera, on YouTube right now, zo zoom in on my face. Let me, let, me speak, let me speak directly to the thief. Listen up here punk yeah Listen we will up. find you we what, will. what are we gonna do chip we'll find him we will her. it could be a her oh if it's a her pff, i'll drop an elbow on your forehead no doubt my man now if you're a bit <laughs> if, if you're a big lad and you're bigger than me we'll settle this we'll negotiate it yeah we'll talk it out we'll talk it out but yeah. if, if you're I over 80 kg 
then I'm sure this is a complete misunderstanding. You've, <laughs> taken, you've taken them by you've taken them by accident, and um, you know, keep them because IKEA sell legs, <laughs> and we'll just go. We'll They're buy, literally IKEA legs. Yeah, well, well, we can buy four more legs. Just keep them. <laughs> Anyways, that is our leg story. Um, so hopefully next time we chat to you guys, we will have our legs back and we'll be in a brand new studio and everything will have gone smoothly. But knowing the fellas and how we do things, that's exactly how it's not going to go. Um, so yeah, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was I feel like what I'm wearing today is very much a chip outfit. Look yes. at this t-shirt. You know is this what? not a very chippo t-shirt? You know I put what? it on and I was there like, mm -hmm. all the comments are just going to be like, cows just copied chips drip. And I genuinely nah, do feel like I'm, it now. I'm so happy to inspire you. Yeah, you, you have You inspired actually. me with QPR career mode back in the day. Yeah. And now here I am taking my boy under my wing. Mm -hmm. And he's even got a set of wings on the t-shirt. You know what wow. that is? That is a, a, that is symbolism for the love that he has for me. You and are just the, the you know, well, you know, um, someone told us the other day when we were sat in the Uber, remember, yeah. um, that Scorpios and Cancers are like, Poof. yeah, they, they work really well together. Yeah. Which is which crazy. Is cra it, which yeah. is absolutely mental because, you know, star signs really interest me because I think it's a fantastic way to be able to tell apart people, the ones that are thick as a fucking paintbrush. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> and, and, and people that have genuine intelligence because I'm sorry, think about this, okay? They are, te they are saying, right, that the time in which you were born... Mm-hmm makes a complete difference on your entire personality not the way you were raised not who raised you not the environment you were raised in but more so the time of day in which you were raised and on what date of the year yeah could you imagine if all the people in november or whatever the things are scorpios were all just had the exact same personality it's just complete waffle all these things do right is is give you vague things so you go check your horoscope yeah. it's like you will be going through some struggles. Like everybody's going through struggles. Yeah. Yeah. It's pure waffle. Uh-huh. I just had to get that off my chest. <laughs> you did a great job. The one only thing that makes me sometimes, because I'd say I'm on a similar page, not as intense page right. as you're on. Right, right. You know, you've got, you're on a crazy page. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what's that thing about how much of the percent of the body is water? It's like, Where are you going with it? No, 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 it's no, no, no. Like, no, no. Have like you not seen it? Like yes, yeah, like seventy in it, and it's some all something all to do with the moon, the way it controls the water on the earth, and they're, they're invested in the <laughs> idea of it. I saw a TikTok about, it and I've seen a couple of things about this actually, and then yeah. they're like, oh, but if it if the moon controls the water, and the body is made up of seventy percent water, how can you think that it doesn't control the mood, the body, the everything like that? That's this is insanity. You're speaking insanity. But it's everybody, because everybody, it's because the ocean has tides. Everybody that I've met that's in November, like we, uh, you get along well we with them. Bond. Well, we we do get along really well. Wait, what year are you? Uh, what, what I hope morning? so. We do run a podcast together. July. What? Okay. Okay. July thirteenth. By the way, just in case <clears throat> you want to give me some. No, I've got time to get you. So I'll get you something nice. I'll get you something nice. Anyways, um, what we're going to go ahead and do right now, ladies and gents, is we are actually going to do an ad read. Now, before you guys sort of skip ahead or whatever, this ad read is actually super important to us Ooh. because it could be the start of a and bigger ahead. partnership for us. So if you guys are interested in football and what I'm about to say, you guys will really like this one because um, there's potential for like a longer term partnership here. Yeah. And uh, we would only do something uh, like this if we knew that the thing was sick, okay? So I'm gonna quickly just chat to you guys now about it. Um, me and Chip are behind the scenes been really working hard to, uh, to get this sort of deal over the line. And it's mainly just because you guys know our plans and what we wanna do with the fellas is like, you guys got to understand we are at level one and there is a hundred levels. Yeah, we're trying to take um, this to the moon. And, and, and the way we do that is with, you know, long-term partnership. So um, I thought I would just go ahead and uh, let you guys know a little bit about our brand new sponsor, at least for this week, but hopefully for more coming. So um, we wanted to uh, give a little shout out to an app called Who Knows Wins. Um, it's an exciting free social sports app that allows you to put money on the line for ultimate bragging rights with your mates. You can play against the community or set up your own custom league like we have done for the fellas. Mm -hmm. um, so what you want to do? So what you do is uh, we've picked four games uh, this week coming up, which is uh, oh, sorry five of the big games. My bad. Which is the FA Cup semis between. Uh, 
uh, Bournemouth, Southampton, um, Everton, Man City, and then the Prem matches as well, uh, Brighton, Newcastle, Villa Spurs, and West Ham, Arsenal. And what you do is you have to uh, get the correct result. Yes. So um, what you do is you, let's say you want to join the Fellas League. It's two quid to enter. So join that. But we're not just like, taking your two quid or anything that two pounds is then going into a prize pot Mm -hmm. and if you get the results right you will get a share of the prize pot so everybody that gets the results right will receive a share the top 10 the The top 10 10. so the top 10 people in our league that get all the results right will receive a share in that final prize pot Mm -hmm. which is a culmination of everyone's two pounds two pounds that they've chucked in so we can adjust like so they asked us like what do you want to make the 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 entry fee yeah and i think i was like i think two pounds good it's cheap enough so that anyone here like you probably got two quid in your pocket um can join it but at the same time if we get enough people involved that main big prize is is going to be thousands of pounds mm-hmm. if not tens of thousands so guys please go ahead and get in the mix so you download the app um and uh we'll leave a link in the youtube description or um if you are, are listening on spotify or apple just go ahead onto our youtube channel check out the description in there um but it's called the who knows wins app so you guys can just go ahead and download that app and then find the fellas league um so yeah our pin code is fellas so that's how you join our league um and we i I mentioned what games we're we're going to be putting on that you guys have to essentially uh predict um just off the off the top of your head uh chip bournemouth southampton who's winning that southampton everton uh everton man city you got winning that city you got city winning that one okay fair enough um and then the uh the prem matches we got the brighton newcastle game what what one are you saying for that one brian are you gonna go bright in there? Ooh, that's a that's a close game. I might have said a draw for that one, you know. I don't know. I just got a little bit of faith in those boys. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, Villa Spurs. Spurs. Spurs are looking deadly right now. Oh, well, Grealish is about to be back as well. No? I don't know, mate. Spur- Bale is back in form. He's firing. Jay Greasy. And then uh, the last one here. This is the, probably the biggest game in my opinion. Is the West Ham Arsenal game. Oh wow, that is yeah. a good game. I actually <sighs> don't know who to take that. I'll probably go a when- draw again. Maybe, maybe. Nah. I hate. The thing is, I hate going for draws. I hate saying. I hate saying draws. You gotta yeah. pick a winner, bro. Yeah, no. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna go with the hammers. I'm, I'm gonna say hammers. Arsenal. Okay, fair enough. So there you go, guys. Uh, you make your predictions, um, and the uh, and you don't just have to join the fellas one. There's lots of other leagues that you can go ahead and join. Um, there's 25,000 players on the app right now, and they've already paid out over a million pounds in prize money. Yeah. Um. So yeah, mm. essentially, uh, you know put your money where your mates are. That's sort of the theme. You can go and make your own uh, league with just your friends if you want to. Um, so yeah, go ahead, check that out guys. Um, and the app is called Who Knows Wins. Um, again, link will be in the description. I'm excited to see who wins our first little uh, round. Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, well, it's going to be sick. Like, And I'm, what I'm hoping guys is the fact that we can make this hopefully become more of a thing mm-hmm. and we can do this on a weekly basis and just, For sure. you know how we have FPL? Yep. I'll chuck in two quid. Could be coming, come, coming away with yes. thousands of pounds if I get it right. I think there's, I think people will want to play this because we people have been asking us to do like a league of some sort of football game for ages. And finally, there's like you can win money, which is banging. Uh-huh. So, anyways, guys, there we go. Um, like I said, you know those those ads. Um, that one was uh, a special one because we wanted it to. Uh, we we want this to be a long term thing because we think it's something sick that we can do with you guys. Um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, something I did want to talk about is. What are you pointing at me for? Or sorry, that was um, just a I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Jake Paul and uh, Ben Askren. Oh yes, right. So if you guys haven't heard for whatever reason, obviously Jake Paul's next opponent after absolutely slapping up Nate Robinson is uh, Ben Askren, and I think we briefly spoke about this topic a while back. But since then, there's been a lot of footage and like sparring and boxing footage yeah. coming out from Ben Askren. They've side even of revealed like um, the stadium that they find, which is the Mercedes. Ben Stadium in Atlanta. Yeah, was it? Yeah, uh, yeah which is wild because I, Mate, I googled it. They I, don't googled, feel that I googled the capacity last night, and I'm, I'm certain I was looking at the correct one, and it's like seventy five thousand. Bro, that's like doing Wembley. It is, a, <laughs> it is a huge stadium, and it's like a re, it's a new one as well. Well, relatively new, it looks it. Yeah, like, I don't know. I so I don't know what's going on there. Like, There's no way that sells out. Like it's just not. Possible. I can't see them doing more than like five thousand. I, I was actually about to say five five to ten thousand. Like it's. I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 a it's a good it's a big fight for Jake Paul because he's gonna beat a professional. 
yeah, uh, fighter. fighter, and that's going to help his name. But have you seen the videos of Ben Askren? Yeah, I, I, it has to be fake. There's no way a professional <laughs> fighter can be that dog shit. <laughs> And obviously, you know, I can't talk. He's doing his thing. He's in the ring. Great. But he's a professional fighter. Bro, like he can't a, box. Like a, like a renowned one. And he... It must be banter. He's throwing punches like... So stiff. Like he's, like he's a cat fighting. <laughs> like he just doesn't look like a human being when he boxes. Bro, it's so weird. weird. It's weird I, I, to watch. At first, you know, in the group chat, and there, we all thought that Ben Askren was just sort of trolling and just making it out as if he's just yeah. a bad boxer. I still so think that, he must be. He must be. Mate, I don't think he is. There's he no way to. you can tell. It's just the way he boxes. He's so stiff and it's like his hips don't move. Yeah. It's <clears> really, How old is he? I don't know, bro. He, so he said he's like retired from UFC. He, he's not like ancient though. I know he's had like some hip work done though. I mean, I hope he does a number. Have you ever seen him like, there's compilations on YouTube of him like boxing, fighting. Oh no, sorry, fight like his stand up game in MMA. And it's horrendous. Like, oh. like I'm sorry, absolutely horrendous. The reason why he was so successful um, is because his wrestling is just yeah. incredible. Oh, um, and obviously this is boxing, not wrestling. And if you watch his stand up, he's genuinely, I, I, you would give him a run for his money. I'm not even joking. No, I'm, Chip, you think I'm taking a piss? Bro, I've it seen can't these be videos. This bad, man. I don't know, man. He, the only thing I can think of is he's just so unorthodox and so, and he's just got like a chin of steel, and he takes whatever Jake Paul throws. But it's been proven Jake Paul has knockout power. He knocked out Nate Robinson cold mm -hmm. on the mattress. Yeah. So, what if Nate Robinson just has a glass jaw though? Yeah, you know, it could it could be the case, but at the same time, I'm there just like I just don't see unless, like you said, it is all one big elaborate conspiracy ruse, and it turns out Ben Askren turns up on the night and he's moving like prime Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> yeah, but I just don't nah, see it. He's happening. not gonna if you, if what you said is true. And I'm sure it is about the stand up compilation. It's horrendous. And if mate. it's that bad, then yeah, I guess those boxing videos are real. Yeah, How has he had the bollocks to go and post that? Yeah, that's the thing. And and that's what makes me think you might be right and it might just be a big troll. But then I, I hope he is and it'll be an absolute masterclass if he is. You know, yeah. Gareth Southgate masterclass. But honestly, I think Jake Paul will will win. You think he'll win? I think man. I think I think he'll I think it'll just be the same as an Nate Robinson fight. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more of a longer one because Ben Askren could probably take a whack. Yeah, that, I I, th I don't think he'll. I actually don't think he'll knock him out. I might regret that. It might be a clip of this when it, when he does Wait, it absolutely floor him. Thirty seconds. I don't think he'll knock him out, but he could stop him. Yeah, he like could he's stop just him. battering him so much. Yeah, and the like, ref just like nah. nah. Yeah, I could see that. I, I don't know. I, I think though. that is more likely. But you never know, man. You actually don't know. Jake Paul's even going to be even better by the time as well now. So, But at the same time, Jake Paul's never fought a fighter. Yeah. So he's, this could be all waffle and it turns out Ben Askren just bangs him Jake up. Who Jake Paul fought? He's fought Deji, Ali. <laughs> Give and Nate Robinson. There's no credibility except yeah, for really Yeah, that's Gibb. so true. I mean, but he does, you can tell by his technique, he looks like he's decent. Just like the way he throws a punch, the way he moves a little bit. He looks like he's all right. Who? Jake Paul. Gibb is a better boxer than Ben Askren. You reckon? Gibb is better in Ben Askren. Okay, so Ben Askren could be done out. I don't know though. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Look, it's, it's like there's. It's almost pointless really talking about it because it's when one of those things. Fight? It's such a farce that it could be, anything could happen. I when think it's in April. Fight? I think it's in April. Well, now how much Jake Paul getting paid for that? Ooh, I would say about five to eight million. You reckon? Yeah. What do you reckon? What more or less? I feel like that's a lot. But I don't know. Like, what's the kind of pull? Like, they're only gonna, they're not gonna sell the stadium. Nah, out, that's for I sure. I think it is. No, but, th but that, that, online. It's yeah. all online. I th I, I Bro, think I don't, what? As if I'm not gonna be watching a stream through some Donny's reflection of his glasses on Twitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't Best no believe I'm pulling up a YouTube stream where he's pretending he's playing <laughs> UFC and so I love those things. They're so good. They did it for the JJ one, and it's just guys um, pretending they're playing like a uh, fight, fight night. night. Fight night. And and it's just him in the corner, like, oh yeah, I hit him, I hit him, and he's just having to <laughs> guess what like JJ and Logan are doing. Unbelievable. Oh, shit. But oh, what do you cool. reckon? How much money do you reckon they're making? What Jay Paul and Ben Askren? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you reckon they're making? I was thinking more like three to four mil. Three to four mil. I just think that's too low, bro. I don't think Jake Paul will fight for that, you know. You reckon? Yeah, he is. Actually, he I is, don't know. I don't know. You could be right. You he, could is, be right. he is breaded up, but it's not like it's a massive fight, is it? It's Ben Askren. Yeah, you're right. You are right. I don't know, mate. Is I this bigger than the, than the Nate Robinson one? 
Is it actually, is it? Yes, yes, it will be because right now, because before the Nate Robinson, there wasn't actually that much hype behind Jake Paul. I know that sounds weird, but but, there still wouldn't be that much hype if he just boxed Nate Robinson and just beat him. Yeah. It was in the fashion that he KO'd him. Like we're talking, he flatlined him. And now there was real genuine hype behind Jake Paul. There you have Joe Rogan talking about him, like genuine fight analyst talking about this because he's now stepped into a real fighter's world yeah. by fighting a real fighter. Yeah. So there was genuine hype there and curiosity. This is a lot bigger than yeah, the Nate Robinson. Everyone's going to tune in. You're right. Everyone will yeah. tune in because they they saw the last one. They're like, "What's going to do against you know a yeah. professional fighter?" Anyways, this leads me on very nicely to a question that I want to ask you. Okay. If you had to fight an animal to the death, there we go. Okay, what animal could you fight? Now, before you ask lots of questions, these are the parameters. You are stuck in a fairly large area, but one of you is coming out alive. What kind of area are we talking? Is this a big field? Is it like a safari park? No. Or are you talking more of like a car park? A car park. You're in the space of a car park and one of you, only one is allowed to leave alive. Hmm. What is the biggest animal or what animals could you beat to the death? Car park changes everything. It's not my natural habitat. I can't come with <laughs> myself. I can't hide. I don't think there's many animals that have their natural <laughs> habitat, which is a car park, unless you're uh, unless you drive a Golf GTI, then chances are you probably live in a car park, <laughs> revving your engine. <laughs> a little Vauxhall Corsa. <laughs> oh, you're making TikToks on the roof. <laughs> Go uh, on then. What are you saying? What animal? What animal is it that you could that you could be? I reckon. So I, I asked this question to Harry, and Harry's not sure that he could beat beat up a panda. You reckon you could batter a panda? It depends on what size panda we're talking. Bro, uh, the average panda is like 100 kilos. Well, then no. But it's a panda. No. It's not got It's not got hands, bro. No, 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 no. What's no, a panda no. going to do to you? No, nah, when... You, you, look, you've obviously never seen Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> 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 right, okay. <laughs> nah, what am I supposed to say to that? <laughs> but what, what's the biggest animal that you can, that you can fuck up then? Listen... I have no problem taking yeah. out a sloth. Mate, that, of course you're battering a sloth. There's re- no, of course. You've you, seen them claws. You reckon you could batter but a the husky? the thing is, they move so slow. By the time he's getting his arm round to scratch me, I've got him bang. I'll pick up the that, sloth. Have <laughs> <laughs> Well, there goes the monetization. Now you got to believe that one. <laughs> um, but, all right, okay. A sloth is easy, bro. Okay, what's easy. bigger what about, than what, that? What about a husky? No. No, I saw a video of a husky mauling another dog the other day, and I've, I've decided no, unless it's a puppy. No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a re- no. A husky is a lot vicious, man. Yeah, I reckon I a husky would me. absolutely tear someone apart. Um, okay, here's some. Uh, here's some. I reckon I could take. Get me a dolphin on land. Let's see who wins. <laughs> <that one. laughs> yeah, let's see who's more. Let's see who's more intelligent then, eh? <laughs> They're always waffling about how intelligent dolphins yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's have ended this. up on land. Have that. What are you gonna do now? Yeah, a couple of kicks <laughs> to the gills and all that. All that one. <laughs> uh, do, you know, do you want to know what? You know this what is I animal do? cruelty. I would of course never do that unless a dolphin threatened me. No, this is sanctioned by Pete, uh, Peta. Peter. Peter. <laughs> okay, yeah, if, Pete, it, if it was sanctioned, it's sanctioned sanction fight by it's Peter. Not a, it's not a fight to the death. It's just to who can no longer move at the end. No, it's to the death. No, it's to the, the death. Well, 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 okay, it's to the death. Hmm. Eddie Hearn's the promoter. Peter uh, have sanctioned it. Sp- Peter have actually sponsored the event. I am going to say, what is the biggest animal I can take? I honestly, look, listen. Yeah. I do think I could fuck up a giraffe. A giraffe? Yeah. I swear to God, bro, the giraffe is beating the shit out of you. Not, 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 you've not seen the way I move. Bro, do you know, you, have you seen what they do with their necks? They they swing it like a fucking kettlebell and it's sending you to fucking France, mate. You've got no chance. Not me, bro. Not me. I got 99 <laughs> evasion. I'm out of that. I'm like, in, out. But, but, yeah, but how are you gonna, how are you going to kill it? You've got to kill it. You can't just avoid it for ages. I will make a Maycraft spear and penetrate no, it from bro, behind. No, bro, bro. You, you, there's no weapons. It's straight, just straight hands, bro. That's what I mean. I've made that weapon myself out of the utilities I have on my body. Okay. Well, so you've ripped off your meat sector. Have, and you're spearing I it. I have made a a, a wooden plank. Uh-huh. <laughs> from a tree 
I've crafted it down into a spear. This isn't Minecraft, bro. You need to. You need and to then chill. I put one of my rings on top of the spear. Yeah. I've melted it in a fire so it becomes a metal tip spear. <laughs> <laughs> this is the craziest uh, car park of all time there is one tree growing in the corner of the car park <laughs> i have then used this to penetrate the giraffe's rear what? leg leg <laughs> <laughs> all right you know what you're waffling i'm gonna i'm gonna come out here i'm gonna make a big statement yours is gonna be more bullshit than my giraffe no 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 <laughs> and I will explain to you because I know the initial reaction of all the viewers uh, sitting at home it's will gonna be, be the same as mine. is going to be the same as yours, right? But I will kill a horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's getting demonetized. I'll, I'll you kill a will, horse. You will, you will beat a horse in a fight. No, you will not beat a horse in a fight, though. I, Bro, listen. let me tell you why, okay? First of all, if I square up to the horse, okay, you lot are thinking I'm just trying to one two the horse. I'm trying to I'm trying to chin it. I'm not trying to chin it. This is a street fight. Now, where is the horse's weakest part? Okay, it's his front legs. Those front legs are like a set of twigs. Okay, so listen here, right? The two front legs. They're looking at me. I'm two footing the front left leg. If I can two foot that, yeah, it, it's a, in a mobilized horse. It's now it, it's it's fucked. Okay, and now what? And now it's on the floor begging for mercy and I'm dropping the people's elbow on it a hundred times and it's going to die. I'll punch its head in when it's on the floor. This ain't happening, bro. You are not getting that accurate two foot on that horse's leg. I swear and to God. And even if you do, I feel like, look at the size of a horse. Those bones are going to be strong. Think about the regeneration. It's like a werewolf with four legs and it's got gnashes on it like... <laughs> Yeah, but the, na the, the that's the thing. Yeah, those gnashes, they're not going to... I've got the same gnashes as those horses. Yeah? Nah, but so I we're evens. Look, honestly, a horse's tooth is like one foot long. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, I, I could beat the horse. I could. Look, if I could, come we, with it with I a real you, tactic... I think, I think if you're back up, I myself, then yeah. yes, we could do it because I'll tickle the tail, completely distract it. Yeah. Nobody likes her ass being played with. <laughs> 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 Especially out of nowhere, right? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. The surprise play. Yeah. Next thing you know, you spark the horse clean out. With my two-footed challenge. Mm -hmm. But that, but that's the thing. I, I said this to Harry. I said, look, I could do it. And he said, there is no way that you're beating that horse. Because not on your arm. I could, bro. No. Well, well, how is it? How is it? How am you, I not, how am I not you, getting my two-footed challenge you ain't, in? You ain't seen a proper horse. Think, right? Picture the scene. Lloyd's TSB. Brand new advert, new marketing campaign to kick off the end of the year. Yeah. The final fiscal quarter. Yeah. Look at the black horse they got galloping. Bro, okay, yeah, it's, it's not the stallion. It's not the stallion. I'm talking a regular horse. You're talking like pony or something. No, you no, no, no. I'm just talking about a horse that you see in a field. I'm not I'm not dealing with the, them absolute monster giant horses. I'm not talking about the Lloyd's TSB beautiful black stallion horse. That is an elite horse. I'm not fighting that. I'm fighting yeah. the regular horse out in fucking in the sticks in Kent that's just minding its own business. <laughs> I'm squaring up to that horse <laughs> that some poor girl named Stephanie has well, got posters I, of that I, fucking I horse know. on her we're, wall. We're going to have to let the comment section decide this. But j just understand, guys, and because I am not, a, I'm not a fighter. I am not, I'm not, I'm not strong. I'm, I'm not claiming to be any of that. But what I am claiming is that I know how to defeat a horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I'm not. It's a tactical masterclass. It is. It is. <laughs> I, imagine, yeah. I'm Champions League final. Pep Guardiola. He knows exactly what to do. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. I know exactly what I'm doing you should be when I'm in that car right, park, man. staring at this horse. Who wins out of a grizzly bear and a silverback gorilla? The grizzly bear. Up That's what I was going to say. The grizzly, the grizzly bear will pepper that gorilla. Savage Donnies. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people on TikTok seem to think the gorilla would win. No, bro. The, I'm telling you, these bears, bro, they weigh so they, much. They're, they're different. They're fast. They got the claws. They're huge when they stand up. Like yeah. massive. Heavy. I'm not sure which is heavier. No, I, I'm, I'm, I feel no, like bro. It, definitely the the bear. The bear is like 607, 607 kilos on a grizzly bear for yeah, sure. Gotta be. And then gotta, what, what gotta are you saying? For, what are you saying for what are you saying? Like a silverback gorilla? Like a proper the, the, the Donny gorilla. Like 250 kg. I you're, don't know. You know. You're bigger than that. I don't know. Off the top of my head, obviously, it's not something that you usually know. So a male grizzly bear, a male a male grizzly grizzly bear, bear is. Yeah. Two. You were oh, saying, wait, a grizzly bear. Oh, wait, you, you what? Were, you were saying like 700 kg? Wait, a grizzly <laughs> bear is 270 kg? Yeah. You sure it's not 270 tons? No, 
It's all, no, I don't know. Oh you. my god! And it, okay, so what's the gorilla? The gorilla is six, seven hundred pounds uh, kilos. I think a gorilla is like four hundred, three hundred. Gorilla. I think four hundred, three hundred. Four hundred, three hundred kg. I could be so wrong here, but I have no idea. I don't work at Chester Zoo. <laughs> How many pounds? No, we don't. We I don't want to know the pounds of this thing. Yeah, bro. come on, KG. Well, that's like oh, two hundred. That's, that's like, like two hundred kg. That's lighter. Lighter, lighter than Grizz bear. Lighter, yeah. So yeah. it's like two hundred kg for a seven. I'm telling you, the bears. The bears winning. The bears. Yeah, winning. I'm thinking the bears gonna scrap it. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. That. Yeah, I thought that was was interesting. Hot news, by the way. Cal Freezy mm-hmm. cancelled over what? treacherous comments about. Star Wars. Oh my God! <laughs> you, the comments on the latest pod. You know you have been cancelled. Star Wars talk is on. <laughs> your- <laughs> They're on your nuts. There you look. If you come across a TikTok account with a Lego Star Wars picture. They've, ri- they've written a hate comment about me. <laughs> They're on Cal Freezy's back. <laughs> Myself, on the other hand, Star Wars Talk, thank you, because you've been giving me a lot of praise, and you know, I'm behind you guys fully. People like this, man, don't even deserve to exist. Bro, I couldn't believe it We yet. went through years of bullying. For you to put Star Wars below Harry Potter... Mate, no, Harry Potter, I still... I, right, despite the, the backlash I received for that, and then also, again, in the last podcast, I got uh, beef for the Bolton comment as well. It was just off the top of my head, but the Star Wars one... I genuinely believe that Harry Potter was is, maybe, is better. Maybe maybe you it. need to give Styles a proper go. No. I don't think I do. I watched it as a kid and I told you I like the I like the movie where they do the racing. Pod racing. What? Episode one, Phantom Menace, you like that? Episode no, bro, we're talking about the old movies. Yeah, that's that's prequel film. Yeah? Like we're talking when I was a kid I watched this movie. Yeah, this probably yeah. came out two thousand nineteen ninety summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. 90, the ones 90, where they 90. jump in the pods and they yeah, race they around the, the desert. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the one. So, that's so one. Like, I like that. Yeah, that was a good but, film. But ask me Harry Potter, bro, every every movie was a barker, bro. It was absolutely popular. Yeah, it's true, but but Star Wars has just got some of that. Anyways, I, I can't be asked to argue about it again. I, I gave my reasoning for it last time. You gotta time. give it a go. Star Wars talk would we'll, can be behind you. No, listen, you. bro. Me and Star Wars talk. Yeah, <laughs> we're at we're enemies now. They, You're they, at war. We are at war. We are at war. I'm with Star I, Wars I, talk. I, I need the Harry Potter fandom, yeah, to rise up right now. Back me. And if you see the, these slanderous comments, I'm expecting no. the Harry Potter mandem to come through and pepper your little no, pod no, racing. No, what if neeks. they like both and Har- what if they like both Harry Potter and Star Wars because they're cultured? Yeah, yeah, which is fine. But I know for a fact if they like both of them, they'll always. Choose Harry Potter over Star Wars. No, rise up, fellas! I want to see you all in the comments. There's actually uh, 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 one of my best friends, still to this day, one of my best friends. um, Absolutely loved Harry Potter. His name was Neil. Um, but honestly, one of the funniest guys uh, I went to school with, super smart, right? And he loved. I'm talking like loved. Can't uh, be that smart. Ha- Harry Potter. He would come in. He would come into school with a wand. Yeah. Oh, right. no, 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 no. But <laughs> it was as a piss take. Oh. Right, is is as a piss take. He didn't actually come in and start banging up spells in the middle of class. But it was like he came in with a wand as a piss take, and um, it was just hilarious. This guy called Neil, and uh, still to this day, one of my best friends. I, I think he, he lives abroad now, but he, he's he's just moved to Australia. Like he, he can, if you give him um, a lyric or a, or a song or a sentence, he can sing it to you or read it back to you completely backwards. So the whole of the Pokemon theme tune, you can just sing it to you backwards. And I'm talking not not the word, not like what a mad talent. Like not like it, it's not like hey, hello, how are you? It's not like you, hello. He'll say the word backwards, so it doesn't even sound English. Oh my god, it's insane. The guy, like, there's something up here with him that just hits different. And like, he he went to he went to China for six months, came back fluent in Mandarin. Like this, you know them people that you go to school with, and I'm sure there's people watching here. You, 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 either you know of them or you're friends with them, and they're just naturally like there's something about them, and they're just He's ridiculously different. smart. Yeah, and that that that's what Neil was to me. But, uh, but yeah, me, me and Neil were were friends for a long time. Sounds like a hit with the ladies. 
He, well, yeah, I mean, that's very attractive. Well, intelligence is very attractive to ladies. Uh, but it was funny because in school, he was obviously more like Niki. Yeah. But now he's taken his Nikiness and now managed to turn it into like yeah. charm. Go to a bar. I can oh. I buy you a drink and recite All Star backwards to you. Th that's No, but that's, his, mate, that's his party trick. It like, would be impressive. It's so impressive. And not to mention, he's just stupidly smart. I feel like he definitely has probably got laid off that. Surely. Without a doubt, mate, multiple times. The guy, the guy, that's what I'm saying. Like in school, always be friends with the the smart ones because not only will they become the, the, the rich Donnies when you're older, yeah? But once they manage to harness the charm, yeah? And once they manage to start talking to women, they're lady killers. Yep. Absolutely. They go on nights out, bro. They, they've got chi chicks coming off of them, no problem, right? Anyways, like I said, in school, that wasn't necessarily the case. And so what we did one time, I don't know, you, you have your yearbook? You have a year, end of year, every every year you have a yearbook? I, or don't, even, really I think? don't even know. I don't think so. I don't really? think we did. No, and we just did the signing shirt things. I would oh. always draw dicks on it. Oh, clap, that, made, oh, that was vintage. Yep. Um, but no, for us, a, at the end of every year, you would get a yearbook. And what would happen is you would go, you would have to go get your yearbook photo. So you go and take your yearbook photo. So me, Neil, everyone would go get get that done. And then, you know, d probably like two months later, you know, you, uh, our uh, teacher would hand out as an envelope and it was an order form for our photos. If your mom, dad, whatever wanted your yearbook photo blown up into like a bigger picture, whatever you take it home, you fill it out. It's like 20, 30 quid, whatever it is for the photos. Bring it back into school and you pay for it. Um, but this year, for some reason, I, I, I can't remember why, but w what happened is in we were in our final year of school and up on the board, instead of it being sent home, you would just put a little tick next to your name and what size of photo that you wanted. Um, but it had like our year on one board, the next year, and then um, next to it, you would put the um, email of the where, where you want the photo to be sent to yeah so what we decided one day was we me and my mate scott uh we were like the three amigos me neil and scott the three yeah. amigos what we decided was me and scott went and um went to the year below and what we did was we put we went uh, underneath one of the girls that was you know relatively attractive in How, school what do you mean you went to the year below so so like there's a board of um photos if yeah. you, so you it, what you were supposed to do is go to your name and write your email address your full name um so that you could get photos sent to you to yeah. your email address right but what we did was we went to a girl in the year below and in the bit that, the, where the photos were sent to we put neil and then neil's address and so then what happened is all these girls are like oh my god why have you asked for let's say call her Samantha's uh, school photos. That's so creepy. That's so weird. And we had the whole school thinking that he had gone and asked for this poor girl's uh, uh, yearbook photos. And it just went around and he got on the back of the, uh, got back on the school bus to go home and everybody was on him he didn't speak to me or scott for two weeks right because we had the whole school believing that he was trying to get photos Yo, of these girls savages we absolutely stitched him up royally he didn't speak i'm not even joking two weeks he didn't speak to us he didn't come on xbox live modern warfare 2 nothing for two weeks yeah and it but he was tweeting and things I like, can never trust your friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know when it's tweet, he's down bad. Yeah, yeah, but he was down bad. We had the whole, all the girls in the year below, like, oh, you're disgusting, all this sort of stuff. And oh, mate, to this day, I feel bad, but Neil, Neil's a fucking legend. Wait, so surely eventually you came out and told everyone that it was just you two. No, nah, we didn't say shit. <laughs> but because, like, what you supposed like, back then, what are you supposed to do? How do you come out to your school and be like, oh, it wasn't me? Once the word gets around the school, how, how, how do you, how do you then you, you don't uh, how, how are you supposed to do it you know what i mean yeah but like, like nowadays you could probably post like a like a snapchat or like an insta but back then it, to be honest only me and a couple of my mates had twitter that was it no one really used twitter back then Shit, yeah because i yeah the samsung d900 and Bro, shit like it was that. it was mad but anyways we signed him <laughs> up for the year below Neil. Oh, Mate, Neil, oh. Neil got it real bad then and and imagine that was towards the end of the school as well and he just reputation in the mud Oh, Neil. Mm. Anyways, uh, that was that. Speaking of Snapchat, actually, we've just started up our fellas Snapchat. You yeah. guys should go and uh, follow it. Follow it. It's uh, called the Fellas Pod. 
at the fellas pod at the fellas pod yeah, i don't really yeah. know how snapchat works anymore i've got a fu- bro i've got a funny story okay uh here's a- so anyways yeah go follow us on snapchat sorry yeah. go and do that because we're posting stuff on there behind the scenes that um bts alex is uh, is capturing for you guys so if you guys are interested in behind the scenes not only follow us on insta but we've got our snapchat too um right uh I had this story, right? So I'm, if, I'm not going to say who it is, who the future guest is, but we've uh, confirmed a guest. Uh, let me read to you how the DMs went, okay? Uh, because this was... Uh, it didn't quite go to plan, and I feel like a bit of a mug. So here we go. So wait, I've gone, wait, 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 wait. This is with a future guest. This is with a future guest. Yeah, I've, I've absolutely fumbled the bag here, okay? Um, hey, man. I hope you're doing well. I've been a big fan of yours for ages and would love to have you on my podcast at the fella pod at some point if it's something you're interested in at all either way man keep up the videos now this is a youtuber but not in our not in our sphere right yeah and he uh and he he replies with evening mate appreciate you reaching out i'd love to come on the podcast that'd be sick i was like oh mate this is so sick well played fella. so so uh, next thing was like right let's let's schedule this in so i said ideal I'm not sure what your schedule is, but we film either Tuesday or Wednesday um, of every week. Uh, how does, uh, you know, uh, end of April work for you? Um, our studio is based in London. Let us know if this works. And then I've put, I've also realized I've tagged the wrong podcast. It's at the fellas Insta. And you know, that's, that's an innocent mistake. I've tagged the wrong one. But unfortunately, yeah, he replied. So unfortunately, the one that I tagged was at the fellas pod. And in their bio, it says, a talk show hosted by seven unproblematic black men. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so he's replied with, yeah, um, I thought that was the case. A, a talk show uh, podcast, sorry, a talk show podcast hosted by seven unproblematic uh, black men didn't quite add up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was there just like, imagine your first impression. I've sent him saying, could you come on my podcast? The bio says that it's seven unproblematic <laughs> black men. He's looking at my photos going, nah. something's not adding up this here. Ain't, this ain't right. <laughs> Anyways, the good news was that... Uh, he figured, you know, he used his common sense and uh, it wasn't the right one. Uh, and he did say yes to come in on the pod. So we, we have managed to uh, secure ourselves another guest. Was it KSI? Uh, no, just because everyone I know. And uh, why, why would I be DMing him? I <laughs> like, know who it was. Hey man, he was trying to your Oh, bits. I know who it is. It's Harry. <laughs> no, not Harry either. <laughs> I'm uh, fed up with Harry because Harry's on next week, isn't he? You're gonna, you're gonna get, Pete, you're gonna get the comments back again. <laughs> Sorry, guys, because I, I know he is hot in demand. He'll I'm come on. He'll sure. come on when he comes on. Yeah, which is next year. We don't know. We will get him on this year. He will be on this year. Um, but I'll tell guys, you one thing: if he's gonna come on any podcast, guys, it's probably gonna be ours. He, he will be on yeah, this podcast. He's, he's already told us that he he wants to come on this podcast. Yep. Um, and that that's that. Yeah. But at the, at the same it'll time, be, it'll be crazy. You'll it'll get, be you'll, get, you'll get what you want and i promise you guys it will be two hours long all the comments oh. are always saying please longer podcast oh longer. no this one will be as long as possible we need maximum revenue <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and guess what there's gonna be at least three weeks worth of clips out of oh, it as well oh lord have mercy <laughs> but yeah so that that should hopefully uh, satisfy your guys harry appetite. yeah there's been a lot of comments about that so at least we now put that to bed you use this use this comment as a get <laughs> harry on yeah. the pod uh, the... Oh, fuck off <laughs> just just piss off yeah he's he's not fucking coming on if i if those continue to get thumbed up like i'm just they're not you're not coming on <laughs> yeah you're not coming on fuck off not getting him <laughs> you can have max play fever <laughs> next week uh, well it does own a chip now if any we, guys we have remember actually, we have genuinely had uh youtubers decline to come on this podcast we won't say names but we have had youtubers decline to come on have we yeah yeah and it was you the one that reached out ah we have we have we so have. and if you're watching we see you we see you we see you but yeah look so this podcast isn't isn't for everyone because we do talk about anything and everything yeah. sometimes we talk about uh we keep it real yeah and when we ask and we ask the questions you know, people want the answers to it's too real for too, people that mm-hmm. aren't very real realize that, you, realize, <laughs> realize. You, you've actually <laughs> that classic you've reminded me of the tiktok dons that say so much 
but so little at, at the, the same, same time. time. Yeah. It's dreadful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was showing you um, recently, mm -hmm. there's these like financial TikTok guys that keep popping up and they're driving me up the fucking wall. Oh, so it's, right? so it's not, so it's me that they're motivating, not you. <laughs> Huh? No, no, they're not motivating me I, at I'm all. I'm watching their TikToks jumping up, jumping up and thinking, yeah, today I'm about to seize. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to seize I, the I, day. I'm going to seize the day. I'm, I'm going to make my bag, yeah. blah, blah, blah. It, I have such an issue right now with um, just these financial TikTok people. Because first of all, guys, if you are one to take financial advice off of a TikToker, um, chances are that it's a complete waffle. Um, I, I'm, I'm, bank, watching a lot, I'm, I'm watching them. Right, and I'm and I'm looking, and I'm thinking, this is just complete bollocks. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. This is, and they always make it seem like they're absolutely fucking minted. Yeah, it's like they've just blown their savings or whatever on a nice car, and that is how they prove to everyone that they've made money. Sounds like you ain't listened to Poku Banks' guide on renting Airbnbs. Oh, bro, <laughs> and it speaks. And bro, he the literally is deafening. he 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 came he came out that he's not even on the property ladder, and he's giving advice on how to be on the yeah, property ladder. Yeah, I heard about this. I think it was you that told me. How, how does that happen? Yeah, that's, that's like a bit, that's like me giving you advice on how to get wham. I'm, yeah, I, I'm I'm skinny. I'm slim. It doesn't work. So. It's just, it's the most bizarre thing. And I, and I really want, especially like younger people, just be very careful, especially when you're going and you're buying these um, like guides and yeah, booklets yeah. and shit. Guys, let me tell you something real straightforward, okay? If these people are making that much money doing a certain thing, uh, whether it be, I don't know, I've heard things about drop shipping, Amazon drop shipping, or you know, they're, uh, they've got their own special way of making lots of money, which is how they sell it. They're like, yo, if you guys do these 10 steps, you're gonna have a million by the time you're 23 or mm -hmm. something like yeah. that. Um, they would not be selling guides. Yeah, they the, make a lot of money from those guides as well, by the way. Well, no, that's how they make their yeah, money. Yeah, they make like a ton. And then that's, they go buy the cars mm -hmm. and all this stuff and they say it's from this special method. Uh -huh. No, mate, your special method is, the, guide. is the guides. Yeah. So it, please keep that in mind when you guys are doing these things. It's, it is one big sort of there is, sham. There, is, um, there are people on Instagram and I caught someone out myself actually. Yeah. Um, I never, obviously I've never said anything not bothered, but, um, they sell like YouTube, YouTube guides and how to create channels that don't have to necessarily use your face and you can make a lot of money like that. Um, imagine like a top five channel where they talk about top five space incidents. Okay. Like, right. All right, that right. kind of shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So we're, no, we're, we're talking about like top five scariest moments. Yeah. Top that five kind of stuff. You, uh, and the idea moments, is maybe yeah. you go and hire a voice actor on, um, yeah. Fiverr and yeah. a script writer, blah, blah, blah. You know, you don't. It's a faceless channel. Yeah. So you can create a bunch of them and start making money, find the right niche. And um, <clears throat> the way he would sell it, or they would sell it, I'm not sure if it was a team, they'll show like YouTube, the channels that they run and that ad revenue. Yeah. And stuff like that. And they showed a channel and by accident, it was on the YouTube analytics. Yeah, I could, you could just catch the title of a Fortnite video on the bottom left. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to check this channel out. Yeah. And I checked the channel out and it was not a channel that he owned. Really? At all. And then I sent it to someone and I was like, this guy is pretending that all that revenue on this channel yeah. is his. Yeah. And I, I, I've seen that it's not. Yeah. And, they, and then they're like, yeah, you know, he does this. He gets people to give them the YouTube channel. Yeah. Logs in, films the ad revenue, let's say 40 grand in a month. Like, what? yeah, I did this. I did this by my guide. Here's 40 grand. Look at all yeah. the money I'm making. And then... Yeah, so he's using Yo, other people's waffle. YouTube channel to sell the, yeah. the reality that he makes a lot from when in reality he doesn't. Yeah, he's what he's making a lot is his guide because he actually does have a lot of really nice stuff on his Insta yeah. from the guide. Yeah, it's, it's, it's this massive... It's just a scam. That's literally what it yeah. is. It's a massive scam. Yeah. And it's, it's just sad to see because I know there's Smart a lot of people in a sense, out there. It's very manipulative, isn't it? Like, yeah, but it's, it's a lie. It's a yeah, scam. It like, is a lie. You're running, you're running a scam. Yeah. Like, you're, you're the, what you're saying in the guides is not going to get these people rich like it's got you rich because you've just had five thousand people buy your 300 pound guy like these guys aren't cheap i'm thinking you know you go to a store and you buy a book yeah yeah you buy a book it's like 30 quid i'm thinking all oh, these guys are gonna be 30 quid no bro you're talking like 300 quid for a guide is probably on the lower side of things i've seen like these investment property guide things upwards of a grand wow and i'm there just like holy smokes like 
it it's just it's really worrying and and the saddest part is is it, it just preys on uh it tends to be like younger people that are like motivated you know these are people that are motivated to make make a better life for themselves and then they've been been told this guide it will, will get you there um and it just it just doesn't work like that it, it like at all um and especially if you're coming across someone that you know hasn't done it like let's say for example let's say if jj ksi came out with a with a guide on how to be successful on youtube you could then go absolutely fair enough Logan Paul comes out with one. Yep. Absolutely fair enough. These are guys that have publicly, you know for a fact, their credibility is 100%. You know it's legit. But no, it's from these, you know, you, you get like just complete random things, like random things. It's like people being on the property ladder and all this. It's like, look, they wouldn't have to sell guides if they made that much money off it and if there was especially some top secret thing that they were keeping from you that they would only sell through a guide well guess what that top secret thing's not going to work if they give it out to everybody that buys the guide it will become so saturated that the secret won't work anymore but guess what it's because the secret never worked in the first place Damn. so drop some knowledge on us there. i just I, I don't i don't know how we got on that topic it wasn't part of our plan but it's, it's just one of those things guys please be very wary about these sort of things because I, I see them on TikTok. And to be honest with you, um, you know, I've seen a couple bits and pieces on TikTok where it's like very obvious financial advice, like save X percent of your of your income, of your monthly income and stuff, which is fine. It's like, you know, this is just basic like finance, but it's those ones where they start, you know, trying to tell you like, yo, buy this. And this w this is how you save money by buying this. It's like, well, no, that's not how you do it. Classic um, drop shippers yeah, as well. Yeah, it's just... Mate, like, anyways, I'd imagine there's probably a lot of people. I saw something that was good on TikTok the other day, but yeah. just before we get into our next thing here, um, this guy was talking about, how, oh, was it a TikTok or a tweet? Either way, the idea was um, he gave his son $1 for every book he read. Yeah. So, and I just thought that is actually a really good idea. Maybe if you want to scale it up, you could, but like when you've got a child, mm-hmm. And he starts hitting that age where he like wants to read and he could educate himself. Yeah. You just say, look, every book you read, I'll give you 10 quid, 20 yeah. quid. That's a great way to, for them to make money. And they're just going to become so yeah. smart. Yep. If they actually are taking in the information and reading it properly. But there is definitely a way for you to monitor that. Yeah. Yeah. I, but at the same time, I mean, I've said it pretty much. Anything that you can get in these guides, guys, you can learn online for free. Uh -huh. Everything on, on these days, you want to become an editor, you can learn how to edit videos, type in YouTube. Completely for free. T type in how uh, how to cut a video on a, a Adobe Premiere. Okay, you know, practice, 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 start doing some videos, build your way up, you classify yourself as an editor. All this stuff can be learned for free. Absolutely. You don't need to pay 300 pounds to someone to teach you how to use Adobe no, Premiere or whatever it is. Like these guides, there's certain instances where guides, okay, are helpful, but a lot of the time, these guys are just waffling. The internet is the biggest source of information that you could ever have and it's free. Free. Yeah. So uh, don't go and spend stupid money on guides. It's all yeah. waffle. Yeah, it, it really is. Um, but, but anyway, we've got our next... What little little ad read job? Little uh, number that you. I mean, it got pretty serious. I was pretty heated on that on that busy, but it's because I don't want the people at home to be scammed. Yeah, it's true. You know, and any any time I come across stuff like that, it's pocket bands, baby. A hundred. <laughs> we're just name drop, <laughs> bro. I'm, well, I'm, that's the thing that I don't even know if that guy's like. Uh, is like a, a scammer or whatever. I don't nah. think he is. I don't think. I don't think he's, I, he's never scammed I someone. Sometimes, I've sometimes watched his TikTok and there's been some good stuff on there. Yeah, it's, it's just like, like generic stuff. Though, yeah, right? it's generic stuff. But every now and then he'll say something like that. I'm like, oh, I didn't actually know that. Yeah. So he obviously is he's young as well, and it, and it's cool that he is so invested in trying to learn and yes. trying to help others. But I, and I've I, seen the ones you're talking about though, where they yeah. sell the med guides. But it, yeah, and it's yeah. There's, and, a, and there's and quite a few. We're, we're, the only reason why we're we're not targeting this PokeBanks guy, it's no, just it's, it's funny it's, because the saying he always say, at the end everybody of, knows that yeah. it's PokeBanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him in ages though. Yeah, I don't know what it, I don't know what it is like. He he got sort of exposed for the for that um like not owning a, a pricing but as far as i'm aware he wasn't selling guides or whatever i don't really know look I'm not, i don't want to talk on it but yeah. we're not trying to say that that guy's a scammer yeah pokebanks if you're watching good luck with life <laughs> it's pokebanks babe. um right okay uh anyways guys we've got another ad read but it's the last one don't worry oh there's always ad shut the f um okay here we go where is this let me scroll up one time but oh my god you're never gonna guess what it is 
Chip, you're not going to guess what it I is. I know what bro. it is. It's only one of the most prestigious uh-huh. brands in the world. Oh my God. Tell them what it is, Chip. And ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than the GOATs. Manscapes. Come on now, baby. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Are you feeling lucky this upcoming St. Patty's Day? Am I? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Um, I know I am. Thanks to Manscaped, the global leaders in below the waist grooming. They sponsored this show to ensure you have the best tools for your bowl trimming ritual. Mm-hmm. If you plan on getting lucky this St. Patty's, then you might as well go to manscaped.com forward slash the fellas for 20% off free international shipping. Now, you got more for me. Yeah, I got, I've got, I've got a little bit more. Not too much more, but I got a little bit more. Um, J- Chip, just give me a little update on how uh, how things downstairs are mm-hmm. looking right now. Fantastic. Really, I've been caught lacking. Every, I, I'll be honest. Every two weeks, boom, Friday comes around. Yeah. And on Fridays, you know, it's a Friday. Yeah. I'll pull out my Manscaped lawnmower. Love that. Is it the three point oh? Yeah, that was the latest one. With, yep. I got the torch on it. I got the guard on it, and that you know what it is? It's like cutting butter room temperature butter oh, it just flies it just goes off. and i'm just hovering over my toilet i don't know how you do yours yeah, I, yeah hover over the toilet i'll hover seat, over the seat toilet up, though. Seat, seat up though seat always up. always seat up yeah i'll hover over the toilet and it just glides off mm, mm-hmm. you're it's, talking that good stuff yeah and that amazon rainforest gets sheared washed. off yeah sheared, sheared off, off. here beautiful. we go no um, cuts no cuts no cuts because that's nev- the biggest thing i have thing. never cut myself with any of the manscape yeah, products same here and before that i d- and this isn't even part of the ad because you guys by at this point you already know that we genuinely use manscape product yep. to shave our nuts it's I, just straight I, up back in the day when i used to live at my mom's house i yep. used to use a pair of scissors and then- <laughs> <laughs> hey use what you gotta use King. bro it took yeah. so long i'd be yeah. yeah like trimming it like that's looking like a grade two i was looking for a great you were giving yourself a high fade yeah <laughs> but yeah it took it honestly was like a 45 minute job long more i'm in and out in two minutes 30 love that i might time myself all right anyways guys um uh, you're in luck because the Manscaped Performance Package is the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Included in this package is the Weed Whacker yes. um, ear and nose hair trimmer. That's so, a beauty. I've been picking my nose a lot. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to sort myself with that. With that. Um, but it, it's waterproof and uses 9,000 RPM motor power, 360 degree rotary dual blade system. Oh <laughs> my lord! They're making it sound How like every- a Ford Mustang or something. <laughs> <laughs> little Dodge Viper up the nose. <laughs> Look, guys, 79% of partners polled admitting... Wait, oh, shit. Uh, uh, admitted that long nose hair is a major turnoff. Why not use the best tools for the job here? Yes. This bundle includes the Lawn Mower 3.0 trimmer, the best trimmer on the market for your balls, butt, and body. <laughs> <laughs> balls, butt, and body. You sound like a Donnie that drives like a Harley Davidson. Yeah, yeah, no, I got one of those. Sons of Anarchy. Uh, their third generation trimmer feature. <laughs> I can't keep doing can't that. I'm keep sorry, this I'm sorry, 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 sorry. You did a good job though. The button, I did. It finished at the balls button. Whatever. Yeah, we'll pretend that last bit didn't happen. Uh, features a cutting edge uh, ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents, uh, which we just spoke about there, thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. Um, I now feel confident shaving my thunder down under. Oh, they got Ooh. bars. <laughs> they got bars. Uh, uh, not only that, by the way, it's, so, it's so funny because after every little word that they use here they got the little tm like the copyright tm oh they <laughs> so trade like the, the down mo- under trademark yeah, they got uh, the lawnmower tm the advanced skin safe tm technology oh god <laughs> anyways guys um let's not forget the crop preserver um tm uh bowl <laughs> deodorant and crop reviver tm uh bowl toner to maximize your bowl hygiene routine because that's actually a big thing is i like, you know you can shave it down but let's moisturize the sack Anyways. Oh, I used the. Oh, can I just say, by the way? Yeah. The ball moisturizer. Yeah. It's like putting your balls into a cloud of, really? from heaven. Yeah. It's like having. Not an, any cloud, it's but like a an, cloud It's from like heaven. an angel stroking your sack. It is beautiful. I love that from you. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, yeah, guys, get the performance package now to receive their two free gifts, which is the Manscaped TM boxers and the Shed travel bag. Uh, the Shed Travel Bag isn't actually TM, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, the Ooh. performance package is best valued that Manscaped has to offer, and it's hot off the shelves now. Get 20% off plus free shipping. Come on. Oh, free shipping. Uh, by that. going to manscaped.com forward slash the fellas. Uh, also, every purchase at manscaped.com goes towards contributions made to the testis. Oh my days, I can't say that word. To the Testicular Cancer Society to bring awareness to Beautiful. testicular cancer. 
men's health and early cancer detection which we stand here on the fellas podcast guys last but not least if you want 20 percent off any of the stuff that we just spoke about there manscape.com forward slash the fellas the fellas not just fellas but forward slash the i should fellas. trademark crimes man i think you struggled to get that one trademark no honest. no not not a man like me a big man like you once they once they see the potential new show coming up they will uh they'll be all over that i got government video. connections you got government government connections yeah that's a bit that's a bit nuts you know yeah, um i got something i want to talk about actually with you um, the new show which is no well, i don't th- we won't talk about that just yet because we're still a little wild way off but um i, I did want to talk to you about something i've been up to lately obviously with uh, still being locked down uh, when this comes out maybe be a little bit more relaxed but um i you can still go on and do shoots and i recently had a link shoot uh if you guys don't know i partnered up with um with them yeah. and we've seen you in them adverts every yeah. fucking football game i don't yeah it's, it's true it's and so it, strange when i'm watching football and at half time just like there's my fucking boy <laughs> every yeah. time yeah and it's just so weird like seeing your friend just pull up on the but he you was on a wrecking ball yes yeah, yeah. every time well this year i'm back i swear was it was it where was it most uh common was it during the world cup or was it just like the last premier league season no no it's just it mate it's literally just half time of the premier league yeah last premier that, league, and it like, would always come on every united game finish mm-hmm. watching there's Just Cal, there. swinging Freezy, on that swinging. Ball. Um, but I'm back again this year. Yeah. Um, and I can't go into too too many details about what I'm doing because the ad isn't out yet. Um, but I don't. I I want. I, I hope that they put it on at halftime again because it's hilarious and it's I really annoying for I everyone. I hope so. But um, this year we've got um, myself. You, the thing is, you guys have seen from the Instagram story, so I'm not releasing anything like top secret. But it's myself. Uh, we've got AJ, um, the Anthony Joshua, uh, and H and Chunks. Ooh, so it's nice. all four. And we recently had like a filming uh session so uh you know i film the ad and then we film like lots of just other stuff for links um which uh, it, w- it was such a fun day but the 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 thing with working with links is they they love the fact that i used to play video games right so and and i, I don't know if there's just someone at links that just used to love my qpr career mode but they can't get out of their head that i'm a gamer right <laughs> And I haven't bro, touched, you're a gamer, bro. I haven't touched a game since lockdown. Like I banged Warzone over lockdown and I streamed it, but that was it. Right? And every time but the, and I don't mind that. Like if, if, bro, if I'm a gamer that's fine. But but the issue comes is when in the ads they want me to come across as a Donny that just doesn't leave his room and oh, just plays no. video games. So they're constantly sending me across like ideas and things that just revolve around me being like this gamer that's never left his bedroom. What do you say to that? Do you say I yes? To, no, 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 no. I, because it's not me anymore. So I tell them, I'm like, look guys, I have no problem sort of doing like gaming related stuff, but I am not like what you guys are like portraying in this um which is like this really hardcore gamer it's just not me anymore Uh uh-huh um and so what is like the outfits that they give to me like all these sort of things you look it just looks like a geezer that just and i've always beefing them in uh, it about my outfits and like the things that i've got to do um and so i remember the latest one to be fair the latest one was actually all right but it was in the previous one boy they got me in some sus fits like some real sus fits and i'm there like yo like, i'm not really talking, vibing. Bro. and i'm looking across yeah h dripping chanel full gucci tracksuit yeah i'm there like yeah like he looks fucking cold yeah chunks there he looks all right you know he's got a couple you know a couple nice items on uh, regular anthony joshua dripping head to toe he's there in a nice little ibiza fucking outfit like he's looking fly calvrizi's sitting in there with some jeans that are too tight for him yeah uh a, a t-shirt and uh like um I don't, I don't know how you describe it but it's like a jacket but it, but it weren't like a cold it weren't cold like i was looking sneaky and i'm there i'm like i don't want to be a diva and i don't want to kick up a fuss but i can't be disrespected like this do you know what I mean? I can't be disrespectful like this. And I love being part of all, everything that links do. But you know, there comes a time where I have to go, well, you lot, like, we got to fix what I'm wearing. 
Like, like <laughs> you're getting mugged. That's, That's what, what I mean. happens when you say Harry Potter is that good. They've obviously watched it, realized that you are a massive neek. <laughs> and gone, yeah, yeah, this Donny works. Give him a wand and a yeah, cape. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this ain't he ain't on Star Wars. Then he ain't he ain't on this Chanel shit. Give him. They violated so bad, but yeah, they got this, you in this baby late, This latest shit. time, this latest time, it was better. It was better. I'm excited I to see right it. Now. When is it going to be out? You, you I don't actually know. I don't actually know. I'm excited for it to come out because it came out sick. Uh, oh, well, I don't know. It hasn't come out sick, but when we were filming it, it was so much fun. Yeah. We honestly had such a sick time. Um, it, uh, Anthony Josh, I because I've been doing Link stuff for the last three years. And um, each time, like every time I've worked with him, Did it's you so touch weird his because- muscles? I don't think I have squeezed his bicep. Might ask next time. But what's interesting is because there's like this myth around Anthony Joshua, yeah, that he's like very different on camera, behind camera. Like supposedly he has like this polished on camera persona. Persona. Yeah. And then behind the thing, he's just he's just not like that. Yeah. But I like honestly, just one of the nicest guys behind camera like we, we're having that we, we, we got to spend like for the most part like the majority of the day with each other mm-hmm. it's not like he can keep up like this act or whatever that it's so weird like I, I so i have no idea where that stuff had all come from and he's honestly one of the nicest blokes he just seemed like he would be a very nice guy so sound yeah. bro like you just chat about like it, it, anything yeah, really it, did it, like if you've have you ever shaken his hand what my hand is in bits. Like that's like, what bro, I'm saying. I'd love it's to. A grip. I'd, I'd love to see that encounter where the hands come together. You must have to. Right here we go. Engage the no, lights. Affirm it, affirm engage the tricep and the bicep and just squeeze as hard as you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and he's just probably like holding a cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, your hand's just like. Argh. It's like when I shake my dad's hand. Every time I go to shake his hand, yeah. he's got like a well-built hand. He's a big yeah. guy. Yeah. And my hand will just go, and it'll just start cracking and crumbling. <laughs> and I'm just there like. Firm it. You gotta firm it. No matter how hard it is, yeah. you gotta keep that stone yeah. face. Stone you cold it. face. If my dad catches me going, yeah. he's gonna be like, "What's that?" It's true. It's and true. And I'll be like, "No, I promise you, bro. Catch me, bro." <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I, I I thought I'd bring that because I see so much like weird. It's, it's like weird, sl- not slander, but it's just like people people just feel like he's fake. Yeah, and it's I'm just saying, like, I don't though. understand where that's from. That, that is always the case with like celebrities. Pe- pe- yeah, you know, people are always like, oh example people like they might meet ksi and then they'll go and post about it on home like oh ksi is so nice in person because yeah. they just they, they have a picture or an idea of how he's gonna be like this character and it, where no, he's and an it never normally matches up to what their idea is right for most people because mm-hmm. they don't actually know what someone's like in person yeah 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 sure but yeah, if you've never actually met someone in person, it's really hard. You should really not judge them as much as people do on the internet. Cause but it's actually, hard to you know, though. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard, to, to. It's hard to, but yeah. people are normally, I'd say for the most part, nice in person that I meet. Yeah, mate, honestly, like- There most are of the time. some knobs though out there. Off the top of my head, I can't think, but there are people that are absolute twats in real life. And yeah. I wish I could think of some names to give you guys a bit of gossip. But I swear I've met some absolute dickheads. Yeah, that, no, no surprise. But that that's sort of the, you know, wh- that's sort of why I anticipated, you know, I, I, like if 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 that was the case, and I'd be there, like, oh yeah, like you know, let's say AJ is a knob, whatever. But it's just like it, it wasn't that. Which which the way people painted it was as if it was going to be like that. And I was, I like, tell you sad. who, I tell you who, and I'm not trying to. I'm only talking about a couple. There are a lot of, there are a few. I'd say there are quite a few rich car guys that i've met oh yes that are grade yes. a twats yeah and when it's always the car when donnies. i say twats i mean these are the worst people <laughs> they are the worst people okay you know and there are a lot that are really nice you know we met yeah. uh, we had a friend that we met on gumball seb yes and we fucking Lovely loved bloke. him yeah. you know he's, and he's so nice you know yeah he always got quite a bit of stick online which I never understood yeah. because he's actually the nicest kid in person. He's such a nice guy. It's always the card on his, bro. But yeah, nah, this guy isn't from Gumball. Um, but there was this one guy who I know is just an absolute massive fucking knobhead. Mate, it, but it's, it's... Possibly the worst guy I've like ever met. I feel like car guys, bro. The thing the is with car guy guys... The worst guy I've ever met in the YouTube world. Really? You're going so far to say I'd that. I'd say he... You're really tickling our balls I here, wish Chip, I with could, who, uh, who You know is. what? Nah, nah, I can't, though. No, I can't, I can't. But he's just a very disrespectful person, I think. Right, okay. I think the money has just gotten to his head. Really? Without him but really having to do much to get there. Do, 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 you th- do you think the uh, the cars... Because the reason why, like, cars to me, right, are, the, are, are very, like, bizarre thing. They're a sign of, obviously, like, wealth, right? So if you have a, yes. a, a, a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, whatever it might be, it's 
a sign of wealth, right? But it's also like one of the like, worst things you can invest in, really. Yes. Because it just- Unless like um, you can actually gain, as long as you can like gain from it in some way. Yeah, yeah. But you know, like, I'm talking about like, like luxury um, sports cars. Like, like the guy we met on Gumball as well. What was, it? was his name? James? J-W- oh, J-W-W, he, yeah. Like, he buy, he, like, I mean, he's got a good car collection, right? Uh-huh, I'm sure uh-huh. he does. But he like, he's like really well renowned in the car world. Yeah. And he like makes- like you sat the cars like he's really good at business in that term yeah. sense he's got a youtube channel running off the cars fine, fine and i swear he has his own little deal going on with aston martin if you've watched his I think maybe was, i think it was aston yeah martin. i could be wrong there but it's definitely a really renowned car brand. which is, which is fine um but i feel like because when these people get like these na- these, these Wait, nice cars oh, these sorry you're talking about people in general or youtubers here it kind of kind of both I, I was gonna go into youtubers but i'm starting with just people in general yeah Karen. um so like when they get a car it's a sign of wealth but it's also like a, a, it, it's a bit of a flex yeah be, because it's like it's a cool car if you're into yeah. cars it is what it is For but sure. at the same time it is quite clearly you know a statement saying look i have this car which is fine it's normal yeah but for some reason it, it these these youtubers or, or or whatever they feel like because other people don't have these cars and it's not necessarily because uh you know there's plenty of youtubers jj sold his lambo harry sold his lambo simon sold uh his tessa, model x tessa yeah. it, it, and, it, and i can promise you it's not because their bank balances are going down it's because they realize they don't actually give a shit it's, a fucking they, waste they, of money. It's, it, yeah. it's you know it's not something going up in value yeah. so why, why do they have it so it's and fine i think it, uh, especially in the uk or wherever where we live oh, yeah. it's really hard to drive a car i sent my car back to manchester because the parking in london is a joke it, it's, it costs a lot of money it's like that, you can't even fucking find a place a, to park for a car it. To dr- that i don't drive yeah i was like it's a waste of money so i just sent it back to manchester if you live in america though way more reason to actually own a car the size of the country is mental you yeah, know yeah, it yeah. can take an hour to to them, an hour drive to see their mate is actually not long. Whereas if I'm like, yeah. I've got to drive an hour to go and see Cal, that's I'm like, trek. that's a trek. Yeah. Like 10, 15 minutes, that's all right. Half yeah. an hour, that's okay. An hour, nah, that's a trek. Just this weird, it's this weird, it's this weird flex. And it, I don't know what it is about some of these car YouTubers, bro, that they're just. They need to chill, man. Like. No one gives a shit no one, about, yeah. about your soup top Corsa, bro. Yeah. Fuck and when off. You get to, when you eventually get further in your life, like nobody you're going to realize nobody cares. Exactly. Nobody cares about car. If you care about it, that's what yes. matters. If you're enjoying it, if you really love cars and it just makes you feel happy, yeah, if- then yes. But don't go about being a dick just because you've got because a Because you've got a custom- whip. Yeah, that costs more than fifty grand a month. Oh, fifty grand in and, total. Uh, sorry, uh, it, 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 it it's jarring. It, 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 it is jarring. It is really jarring. It is really jarring that these car YouTubers and that that's the whole point. Is that at the end of the day, look, if you're passionate about cars and you really love cars yeah. and you don't really give a shit about like you know, uh, stunting stunting with said car, then it, it, it yeah. it's fine. Like you you're passionate about something. Yeah. That's sick. Congratulations. But it's just a shame that there's so many of these YouTubers that do it just as a flex. Yeah, and if you're a but, nice car YouTuber, then you don't have to worry because you'll know. You. Yeah, yeah, you'll know. <laughs> you'll, I, you'll know if you're the dick or not. If, if you're a car YouTuber and you're somehow watching this, yeah, then and, and you're thinking, is he talking about me? Chances are we probably are because you'll know if you if you if you're just calm about things and you're calm about things. Yeah. But I thought it was just funny. Anyways, um, anyways, uh, something that's coming up is Mother's Day. What did you get? What you get your mom's for Mother's Day? Craziest thing. Yeah. Cra- crazy getting? that you asked me this because yeah, I went to Card Factory. You went to Card Factory. Oh, what a popper, mate. Card Factory is unbelievable. I didn't go to Card Factory. I've got nothing. I lied. Wait, really? When is Mother's Day? What are you going to get her? When is it? This Sunday. Soon. My sister did text me when she said get perfume or face products or something. It's so funny. My sister always texts. She she keeps me in check. <laughs> keeps me in check, man. Keeps me in check. Because she knows I'll forget. Yeah. Uh, you uh, know, I, I think I'm going to get my I'm gonna get my mom just like a, 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 a set of flowers and a card. Stinker. How's that, how is that a stinker? They're going to last a week. Get your mum so much she's going to remember. Like, um, bro, it was just her birthday two weeks ago. Bro. I got her the most amazing hamper. Like, Check me out. Spenny Check stuff me out. in the Check hamper. Me out. Obviously, it depends on your mum's personality. But I've been looking at online yeah, what on are you eBay. Like a massive Hot Wheels collection. <laughs> You're taking the piss, man. Your yeah. mum doesn't like yeah. Hot Wheels. My mum loves Hot Wheels. She's got, she got bag of Hot Wheels cars. My, My mum's more of a scale electric sort of girl. That's poor, that because it's, wait, scale electric is bang. Did you ever have scale electric? Yeah, it's cool and all, but you can't turn the cars with your own hands. I f- 
Scale Electrics was actually called though. Like, if you had like the serious tracks, but every, the thing is, obviously, me being brain dead that I am, I couldn't wrap my head around the concept of only pulling the trigger halfway. So I put the car in the track, and it's just pull full, the thing, and full it goes, blast. it goes, whip. <laughs> yeah, Hit, shit's hitting the wall. Granddad's screaming at me because I put a hole in the wall. Guys, I do thought I do think I should just let you know that I was joking about my mom and the Hot Wheels. She does not collect Hot Wheels. She does not collect Hot Wheels. Um, uh, unfortunately, Alex has just not got any. Oh, you want us to go into? Oh, okay. yeah. Don't worry. Guys. Just want to remind you guys as well. While Cal sorts this out, the flagged by the way. Um, if you are listening, if you're watching on YouTube, then please go over to the fellas on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify. Click follow, click subscribe, because it actually helps us out more than you think. Exactly. So definitely become a follower on there. And you know, sometimes you can't always watch a YouTube video. You want to go to work, you want to put in your AirPods, your headphones, whatever, and you know, just listen to two of the greatest wafflers the world has ever seen of all time. Of all time, you know, bro, we're like Adam and Eve. Did they not pork? Oh wait, no, they didn't pork. <laughs> Did they? No, I Eve? think that was the whole point. God put the seed. In it. Anyways, let's not get on a religious one because I might have to go off on another rant here. Yeah, so, bro. um, it's We've Mother's all, Day. We it's already ma- caught Moses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mo- Moses has been caught red-handed as a fraud. He's cuffed up. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Um, so it is Mother's Day, and we, we hopped on our Instagram stories where we always ask for your guys' input. If you haven't already, follow us on Instagram at the fellas Insta. Send in either your relationship dilemmas, um, and it, just in general, we post up things like today. I said, guys, I want stories on your mothers. This sounds weird, but we got some stories about your mothers. So I'm going to read some out. It's from a fella. His name is Jefferson. Here we go. This one is from Jefferson. And uh, at my 16th birthday, my parents left the gaff and went to the pub so that we could use the entire house and outside freely. I thought this was an amazing idea until my mum came back absolutely peppered. She then decided to join my party. At one point, dancing rather sexually with my best mate. (laughs) Even taking his top off. He was absolutely loving it. To this day, I don't stop hearing about that night and my mum thinks it's hilarious. Yo. Have you ever had a situation where your mum got a little too comfy? My mum doesn't drink, to be fair, so no. Okay. So no. Oh, damn. That sounds like a brazzy So I went on a... uh, My sister graduated from uni shout out my sister yeah Yeah. and yeah shout out your sister yeah shout out my sister and then (laughs) me my mom and my sister we all went on a night out together um and we went to a bar right and i'm getting drinks in i'm getting drinks in my mom's now a lightweight you know she she, she's not on what i'm on she's not on the 7 a.m sessions all right that's what you're on I used to be on back back in when the story happened that was a 7 a.m session special those days are behind us Yeah, yeah yeah but we're going out And let me tell you, my mum goes into the middle of the bar and she's skanking. She's by far the oldest woman in this club, yeah? And my mum is skanking. I'm getting recognized by people. I'm getting photos taken. And they're they're going, have you seen that lady over there? She's in the middle. She's got a crowd around her. Like, you know, in those dance movies where they just start break dancing in the middle. My mum is doing like some dancing in the middle. And she's pulling, like uh, like grabbing guys from the crowd and doing like uh, like salsa dancing with them. And like, bro, she is the center. She is absolutely loving it. Meanwhile, people are just coming up to me going have you seen that woman over there and i'm going yeah yeah yeah, yeah. don't know who she is that's my mum in the middle of that dance she was loving it and she she to be fair she tore up the club bro it, it, she, she smashed it so fair play to her damn yeah she 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 uh she's she a, loves a night out she's wild she, yeah get, get her on a night out with us fella a different a different era bro different era doesn't matter i can do that music what was that <laughs> like 70s I don't even know. 80s? I don't. I don't want to. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to be hard. I think it might be the seventies. Actually, I think you're right. It is the seventies. No, eighties, eighties, eighties. Well, but she was born in the seventies. I think. Yeah, so she would have been listening to eighties music. Yeah, true. Say, actually, yeah. maybe not seventies. Maybe sixties. Cal's mom, if you're watching, I will not hesitate Boogie. to take you to Fabric. We we'll get bu- <laughs> we we'll get busy in Fabric. All right, here we go. Um, first proper girlfriend. Uh, this is another mother story. This is from a fella. His name is um, Josh Michael. George Michael. George Michael said, uh, first proper girlfriend and my first porking at the tender tender age of 17. I basically took any opportunity to get at it, including when my parents were in. Essentially, we're going at it missionary and I decided, oh sorry, I had realized how easily the pounding could be heard downstairs. Wait, 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 whose gap is he in? 
His own gaff, I think. Yeah. Uh, my mum called up at, saying, what's going on? And I said, we were doing a workout. My mum starts coming upstairs while my dad, in brackets legend, is clearly aware of what was happening and is trying to keep her downstairs. When I clocked she was coming in, I threw some clothes on while my girlfriend jumped into the bathroom and managed to start doing some squats as she walked in. At the time, thought I was a genius. Now I'm just questioning if my own mother wanted to see me porking. (laughs) No, oh. listen. Uh, nah, this is his mom had to have known, bro, We're for not, sure. Like, like, think about it now, right? When we hear, if you hear, I've never heard my parents talking. Yeah, Obviously, me neither. Me yeah, neither. Thank, yeah. thank the but, Lord. But if we by heard the way. something like that, even just a little creaking, even when I'm in a hotel and a little bit of creaking above, I'm you like, know what's up? I'm like, yep, that's it. Two people are parking. Yeah. And next thing you know, I'm up the stairs and I've got my hair on the door. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Everyone oh, yeah. always does that at hotels anyway, but. This guy in particular, I reckon, did his mom. I reckon his mom might have been naive because you certainly don't want to be walking in on your kid how doing old it. He was to the end stuff as well. He's like, seventeen. Hmm. And the floor's shaking. Got dust coming out the roof. Yeah. Fucking hell! This is a serious workout going up there. What? Yeah, what I is mean, little depends, Barry up depends, to? Depends. Like, like, was he really going for? Well, he said he was he was doing up pounding, but I'm thinking 17 year old, you ain't you ain't Maybe hitting ain't it proper. Shit, you ain't, no, you ain't, you ain't doing, doing a nothing. Vaseline, trust me, bro. It's um, a, yeah, well, once you get to like 20s, that's when you start realizing your potential. And not only that, but to be fair, if she did believe that he was doing a workout, you wouldn't walk in then. You'd just be like, whatever. So I reckon she wanted them to stop. And this was her way of saying, yo, you got to stop. What a cock block. Nah, I, I, mate, I would. Okay, your kids, yeah. You you got you you had a son, you hear you hear a little. They're going, you know, the the wardrobe is hitting against the wall. I'm pet sending my son twenty quid on PayPal with, ca- <laughs> with it well in. Get yourself a pizza. I'm ordering Domino's. Celebrate. No pineapple, but you're getting a pizza. What in your own gaff? You're you're down with that? I don't yeah, know. I think because they've bit- just they've just spent thirty minutes banging. They're gonna need nutrients. No, but realistically, on a serious note. Of course it's okay. In your own gaff. It's it's natural, you know, it's primal instinct. Bro. My boy, okay. uh, my boy uh, okay. is trying to nut. Yeah, fine, fine. What I've, would I rather him do? No. Pull up some, you know, some poor girl's Instagram page and let the meat go. Let the meat fly <laughs> from his school. Or he's getting the real deal. He's stroking the inside of the sugar walls. He's at Charlie in the chocolate factory and he's getting all the chocolate. Okay, okay? I've got a question then. All right. Your daughter. Okay. Inside, in your own gap. And she's, and guess what? Someone's inside her sugar walls. Someone is in her Charlie the chocolate factory. Not my yeah? daughter. <laughs> 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 Are you PayPaling her twenty pound for the nutrients she needs? No, I'm after gonna her PayPal getting... him twenty quid and say, "Please stop, <laughs> leave my poor girl alone." <laughs> <laughs> it's so different, though, isn't it? As a... <laughs> oh, it's not different. Reality is, you should let it happen. But I think just the way that men, <laughs> the way that men have been raised, <laughs> that we should just pork every living thing. And the way we've that been... That is horrendous for you, you guys. You know, women are, we would need to be treated like You're diamonds. digging yourself a foul. <laughs> women, no, 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 no. no. It really is. I'd probably just let it slide because I'd feel really awkward going up and being like... Stop this. Get out of my door. Yeah, because I know I'm going to call my daughter Stacy. So, <laughs> Stacy, get down in there. Stop getting porked. <laughs> uh, you can't say that. Reality is, son or daughter, yeah. you just have to let it happen. Oh, okay? Oh, man. If the son, uh, if it's happening with the son, yes, he's getting twenty quid PayPal. Go on, lad. If it's the daughter, she's grounded for two weeks. Fucking hell, that's actually killed me off, mate. <laughs> I'm kidding, here we that go. Would be here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, right, he said, uh, "Is it another fella? His name is um, uh, John Kennedy." John Kennedy. That's where he got assassinated. <laughs> Anyways, You're thinking of the president, um, mate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, presidents in our DMs. Uh, back in 2016, when I thought uh, I thought I was a genius by using my brother's card to buy my FIFA points, I used smart, <laughs> smart. Uh, elite. I used to get my mates round and have a pack opening using using my brother's money, not thinking he'd notice. Five quid here, five quid there. Quickly added up. 
a couple months had passed of me completing these Microsoft <laughs> transactions and it was now Boxing Day. <laughs> my brother had a bank statement through and I knew my scandal was about to come to an end. My mom was absolutely bricking it. She was about to call in the fraud squad to find out who had been spending his money. <laughs> At this point, I had to own up. My mom was livid and made me pay him back with everything that I got for Christmas, leaving me with a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I was left with a toothbrush for Christmas, shattered trust throughout the family, and a distraught mother. Worst part about the whole thing was my best player I got was Alaba. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bell turn. Oh, mate. Scroll up in it. Oh, right, no. We'll the thing is, I at least hope it was like an Oral B electric. Th- <laughs> what? Like an Oral B electric toothbrush. Mate, that is honestly. If he's just gonna got like a standard little Colgate brush. <laughs> Imagine for brush. Christmas you're there. And you know when you went into school after Christmas, what'd you get for Christmas? What'd you get for Christmas? I had to pay back my FIFA point debt. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it was Microsoft points as well. <laughs> Bro. You know, when you were buying up Microsoft points. Guess what? I've just looked, yeah? And the guy that sent in this question um, was the one that sent in the picture of his mum in front of Pep Guardiola. You remember <laughs> that? <laughs> so yes. shout out to you, fella, because uh, you've come in with two stories that have made it on the podcast. Yo, back and to you, back. You are killing it, fella. That The way you've written that out was phenomenal. But honestly, I, I, did you ever steal any money to buy yourself any like gaming related stuff probably back in the day like when i was super young nick a quid here and there yeah nothing crazy like my mom didn't have any money to nick. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but it's all right mom because you're absolutely killing it now there you go uh pc crimes yeah mother of pc crimes anyways here we go and uh, yeah my mom was a police officer i'm not having her trying to you know i don't want to get cuffed yeah for in real. my own living room no, she, she's been Xbox cuffed plenty of times um here we go what is you, uh, the name of this fella um george bush george bush we're just going through american residence tonight i like it um when i was in primary school i called my teacher a slaphead and told him to piss off from making us line up in the rain he gave me a letter to give to my mum. naturally i wanted to play out with my mates after school so i decided to hide the letter under my pillow so i could play out and she should never know i came home and she had changed the bed she said nothing to me <laughs> which was so jarring. After dinner, I asked if I could have some ice cream. She said no and brought up the letter. My mum never grounded anyone. She grounded me for three whole days. I was mortified. Have you ever been grounded by a family member? Yes, 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 of course. So I get like two week grounding sometimes. Re- you, you've been I got grounded? grounded for like two weeks once, no Xbox. Honestly, I wanted to fucking die. Life, uh, but just, back then as well. I was in my room, bro. You know when you go Super Saiyan, when you're yeah. screaming with anger, I was just in my room like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Them ones. We spoke about this on the Saffron uh, on the saffron popper and you've gone oh, and just coated just like, the mic in saliva. Well, which this is specific mic is actually mine. I wrote my name on it last week in white tip. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, nice one. Um, so... It says Big Dick. Ne- next up here, we've got... Um, is it a guy? Felicia? A guy? Sorry. Uh, um, okay, if it's a guy, Peter Andre. Peter Peter Andre. Um, so, uh, he said, mum's story. Uh, sometimes on a night out, I struck, struggle to get the little guy up. Come on now. Oh, that's me all the time, lad. That's why you need to start taking Viagra. Depends on your age. <laughs> uh, no, but I always crack half a pill. And let me tell you, like, before he carries on with that story, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think all guys know this. And obviously yeah. girls, if you've got a boyfriend, you probably know it as well. Yeah. Right. We've got, here's the levels that we've got. Mm-hmm. BTS sites, you're getting on this too. We've got semi. Yeah. Right. We've got semi. Yeah. It's normal. Then we've got boner. And yeah. this is probably what you'd pork with on the, you know, a standard eight, one. nine, eight times out of 10. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's your hard on. Then you've got the next level. You've yeah. got the sword. You've got the, 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 the meat the, scepter. Yeah. The set, the meat scepter. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's when you've gone beyond, you've gone ultra. Yeah. You have gone into a place where not many, many, not many men venture. Yeah. That is when this shit can slice through glass. Okay. Yeah. It is, it is like, I don't know. The veiniest, the, the yeah. biggest, 
the the one most paper, dangerous one paper cut and that dick is done for life yeah that is it's bulging okay yeah. that's what it's like when you crack the little blue pill yeah yeah and, yeah and, it, and it's just and like you just bust a little half i i take a quarter sometimes really? i try and take a quarter i'll get the pill and i'll i'll get a knife out but a knife whack, whack it, it bang <laughs> quarter and you're honestly, moving like someone with experience on this thing well, the thing is, I when I get drunk, same same problem as this guy. Yeah. It just doesn't work. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's because I'm getting drunk at the age of 26, but I know when I get drunk, I normally get peppered. Yeah, you yeah, know, you There's do, no you point do. having one bev. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You should be having 10. That's the ideology I live by. Anyways, um, well, there you go. There's uh, there's some quick advice for you, fella. But, uh, oh my God, actually, his next sentence is, anyways, I copped some Viagra. And oh! I, and, and I've been using it. I forgot, wow. I forgot one night and left it in my pocket. Mumsy does the washing the next day and I woke up to find the pill on the kitchen bench followed by an angry look because she thought it was ecstasy. Nah, you got to tell her it's ibuprofen blue. <laughs> I had to tell the lady I struggled to get my Roger uh, hard on a night out. I reckon it would have been easier to tell her it was a drug addiction instead. But fuck, that was an uncomfortable chat. Oh, what shit. would you say? If, if, if your mum emptied your pockets to do the washing... Would you rather, so you, you you didn't think of the ibuprofen, would you rather say it was a Viagra or that you banged a pill? Um, my mum, I'd say it's Viagra. Really? Would yeah. your mum lose her head if it, was, uh, if it was a pill? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. She'd probably lose her head if it was Viagra, but at this point, or if, when I was a kid, yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming he is young. What would you do? I would, I would go with Viagra. I'd be like, look, mum. Viagra ain't some, some Viagra ain't Sometimes, sometimes I'm trying to get to level three. My, my mate Chip told me about the, like, <laughs> level, level one, three. level two, and he told me about his uh, uncharted land called level three. And yeah. I was just trying to see what was up with level three. <laughs> Watch the fella's going. podcast, you understand. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Um, we've got another fella, actually. Plenty of fellas tuning in today with um, mother stories. Uh, his name is? Alex. Alex, he said, what's up, uh, fellas? This is a long one, by the way. Strap in, and uh, if you're listening, maybe go grab yourself a little uh, little munch. But uh, here we go. Uh, big fan from Dublin. Your podcast absolutely bangs. Keep it up. Uh, I have a story for you about my ma. So growing up, my dad was uh, one of them dads who loves to see their son do well with the Felitas. In fact, he'd banter me if I was on a drought. As you can tell, we are pretty comfortable with each other. And to be fair, he has he had me young, so he's more of a mate, not gonna lie. <laughs> right, okay. Um, uh, but my mom was the complete opposite. So last March, my parents were going to Spain as they were planning re on renovating the family holiday home for the summer. Um, it never got done due to... Anyways, um, I was told that they were going for four days and that they would be uh, taking my sister with them. So it meant I didn't have to babysit. Um, with me being 17 at the time, they didn't trust me with the house to myself. Fair enough. Um, so they wanted to ship me off to my nans for the weekend. I had started talking to this girl um, in December. So we had a thing for about four months. I told her about my parents leaving for the weekend and... and uh, and if she was up for a game of, he's called it a game of Port Royale, but um, let's just call it uh, a poor concession at his place. She was game, so it was a matter of finding a way of getting into the gaff while they were gone. I took the initiative and went and got a key cut for the front door for a tenner, which was a bargain for what I was in for. Yeah, I, I would argue, would you pay a tenner to pork? Yeah, yeah, that's fucking oh, great. That's great value. That is, that is, and that's exactly what he said here. The morning of them leaving, um, my mum shook me, shook me down before I got into the car on my way to my nan's, and I simply handed over the spare key she anticipated me hiding. All right, okay, so that makes sense. The mum was like, "Hand over the keys. I know you're gonna have a party or something like that." Yeah, fair enough. Um, they fell for it and it was game on. There was U UFC fights on that weekend, so it was a perfect alibi. The girl I was talking to came mine and I got busy. My cardio was tested because she asked to stay over, which I was more than fine with. I made sure I left the house the exact same as it was before she came over. The next day, I was in my nanny's uh, waiting to be collected by my parents as they were back in Dublin. Um, this is where things went south for me they went to my house uh, went to the house first and my mom was in the room and found condom wrappers 
That is Mate. some rookiest error. What the what fuck? What a rookie error. Anyways, he says oh, she no. sent she sent me text asking what I uh what I was at the day before, knowing full well where I was. She sends me a text of the rappers asking me if they're mine, and which I replied to saying they were there before. Oh, you're never gonna get away with that one, fella. I thought my composure would get me by, but this next part led to the final nail in my coffin. The girl that came over rang my bell and my dad installed a ring doorbell, which had, uh, which they had on their phones. I was left speechless. I was done for before they even got home. My mom went to the lengths of ignoring me for about three days. She was that annoyed with me, but hanging out the back of a, a bird I liked all night was worth the bollocking. And he's actually sent through screenshots of the text with his mum she's messaged him and she's messaged him yeah with a picture of it saying so what's this can i see it yeah sure here so i'll read it out as we go um so the text <laughs> message is huh that's fine uh so what's this um what the hell are you doing in my room he actually they're said, from the ages he ago said, he said what the fuck are you doing yeah what the, what tf are you doing in my room they're from ages ago and his mom replied with right so they're there from ages ago then so did you forget to tell the girl you had over not to press the bell oh <laughs> absolute howler wow. and then and then just out of curiosity blank oh is this the first bit Oh, okay. Sorry, I've read the second bit first. But anyways, it started out with just just out of curiosity. Um, where were you last night? Um, I was watching the fight in Jay's. I told Nanny I was staying over. Oh, you were watching the fights. And then that's where she went and said... Bro, my boy's just trying to smash. Like, she needs to chill. Bro, relax. My dog is um, just trying to pump. Bro, anyways, yo, I just want to say a huge shout out to this story. Not only was it uh, well written, but you also came with evidence. And we said from the get go, evidence, evidence in the stories always help out. And look, mate, that tenor for the pork and absolutely worth it. You got, like you said, your cardio was tested. You got a full night, woke up the next day, got a wee bit of a bollocking from your mum. But hey, that's part of growing Amen, up. Amen, baby. Amen. Do your do your thinking like fully one hundred percent. So um, there we go. Those are sort of like the mother stories. Anyways, um, I thought they were uh, they were pretty hilarious. And some of you lot get up to an absolute madness. But as always, guys, what we will be doing is on our Instagram. We always ask you for stories like these. And if you feel like a story, you know, we'll post up on the day of filming. We'll be like, guys, send in your stories for X Y Z. Reply DM us, and that's that. Really, amen. Happy days. Well, thank you guys very much for uh, tuning in to this episode of indeed. The Fellas. Um, guys, like I said, a huge thank you. 250,000 subscribers. We're a quarter of the way to a million. How insane would it be if we could get to a million? Nah, that's a bit nuts, isn't it? That is a bit crazy. That is a bit crazy. But fuck it. We'll shoot for the stars, baby. If we could get to a million by the end of the year, that is just absolutely mental, isn't it? But the only way for us to even possibly come close to that is by getting your guys' support, you guys letting all your friends know about this podcast, all this sort of stuff. And uh, honestly, I, I say it all the time on my own Instagram, on our Instagram, that we genuinely believe we have the best community on YouTube. Like, absolutely. if you lot could see the support, everything, people sending in messages saying, Saying, you know they're going through rough times they really enjoy you know every tuesday 6 p.m when the, when the podcast comes out you know it just gives them an hour two hours of time just to zone out and listen to us just chat complete bollocks mate and uh you know we can only say thank you guys for that because at the end of the day this this podcast right here and the future shows we got coming up they wouldn't be possible without all you guys tuning in supporting us even supporting the people that are advertising on our podcast um it's all really really amazing and not to mention alex needs food on his table and without you guys watching he doesn't yeah, have food on his we gotta table. pay him so. unfortunately he yeah. doesn't do it for free yeah he's um, sat there right now browsing twitter on his phone He's useless, actually. We might need to get a new... Anyways, uh, thank you guys very much, always, from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, shout out to all of our Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, um, I think Amazon and Google as well. Yeah. Shout out to you, Lord. live Yeah, I don't know how many people we got listening Periscope. on there. Periscope. <laughs> Periscope. Um, any, any words from you, Chip? Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's always inspirational <laughs> from Chip. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Much love. Goodbye. Peace.